Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm doing another get ready with me today. Starting barefaced because I'm not going for like a specific look. This is just me getting ready to film and I thought let's turn the camera on while I do that. Um, I'm about to film my whole collection project pan and what I usually try to do is actually use most of the products that are in the project just to make sure I get the last little uses out of the product so that's what I'm gonna do today as well. Um, I already primed my eyes with as usual my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I put on a little bit of concealer right here just to make sure that like, that doesn't distract from everything else I'm trying to do. A little bit of insecurity maybe, I don't know, but anyway. Um, going in with my first product and this is in the whole collection project pen as well. This is a Smoky Eyes pencil from Athos in the dark brown shade. Um, the actual uh, update will be going up before this so I'm not giving you too many spoilers of course. So if you have missed that it will be linked up here I think. Um, not using a proper mirror means that I'm putting this halfway next to my eyes as well. When I put this on I'm kind of focusing on the outside and then whenever it's left on my finger kind of goes a little more towards the inside. I'm going for like a, a blue purplish look today so I'm not sure how well <laughs> that's gonna look with the shirt that I'm wearing but anyway. So that is on my lid right now and then it's time for some eyeshadow. I'm starting off with um, a shade for my Panda palette, the lightest shade in this bourgeois trio. I'm not gonna hold that too close to the camera because my Panda palette update is coming up probably in a week from now so I don't want to give any spoilers. <laughs> so I used the lightest shade as my brow bone highlight and now I'm going in with the middle shade in here, also the bourgeois uh, palette which might give you a little hint at some of the progress that I've made, but yeah, putting that in my crease kind of as my transition shade. And I'm thinking right now maybe I need to actually get a product that has a mirror on it so I can actually see what I'm doing. So picking up a little bit more of that shade and actually see what I'm oh, actually. That doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I was trying to do it with my viewfinder and uh, that definitely doesn't work. <laughs> so, yep, and that is my transition shade. And then we're moving into um, my Colors Panda Palette. <laughs> Sneak peek again. I'm going into the purple shade and that is going on my lid. Okay, so I'm kind of going to do a purple blue-ish look so the purple shade is gonna go on my lid and I want to use moon shadow which I rolled into this um, collection project pan last time as kind of the crease outer corner darkening up shade so let's see how that's gonna work out because it's actually <laughs> this is the first time I'm using it a lot of the times or not a lot of the times but sometimes when it's update time and I'm reliving, I haven't used something that yet, then that is the perfect moment to actually uh, get at least one use in. Although at the moment I have a little bit too many lip products in, so um, I won't be able to touch all my lip products before filming the update. I keep closing the mirror every time I'm done. Just because I'm used to closing the palette that I have in my hand. I definitely still need the mirror. I'm gonna use the silver shade from um, my other palette that's in my Panda palette to top on top of that purple just to make it a little bit lighter on the inside mainly although I see I'm pretty much going all over at this point. Oh, and this palette actually has a mirror in it itself, so I don't have to switch per se. I think this will also help cool down the purple a little bit more, so it will blend in with that uh, blue shade nicely. 
going back to the purple shade now to just make sure that the purple still does show up a little bit because I feel like the silver is taking over a little bit too much. Okay. And then it's time for moon shadow and I haven't used this shade yet. I used it uh, when I was doing my 365 days of eyeshadow so I probably used this shadow once like ever and right now I'm gonna try and use it in this look so I'm going in with a blending brush and just like very carefully patting that on the outside right here let's just see how that goes I think also because I've used the um, like blue pencil underneath there is a little bit of blue tone still shining through in this look anyway so in that regard it kind of works out nicely it works well with the blue pencil that's underneath not sure how big of a fan i am of actually that brown with this in the crease as a transition i think that might actually be a little bit too warm with this look but I cannot take that back anymore, so we're just gonna have to work with it. I've got the blue in my crease right now, I'm realizing maybe I should have zoomed in a little bit. Does this work? Yes, it works. <laughs> this is the look that I have so far. Just zooming in when I'm almost done. And I wanna put some eyeliner as well so I'm going in of course with my black eyeshadow and an angled brush and I'm gonna stamp that on my like stamp that on my lash line that's what it's called right I don't know my mind is not completely here it seems like So while I'm focusing on this, I just kind of wanted to ask you guys, what are things that you guys like really like to watch on YouTube at the moment? I'm kind of trying to come up with new ideas. Uh, it doesn't even have to be in like the makeup uh, realm per se, because like I'm not really buying a lot of new products and I'm not really tempted either. So for me, a like, I don't know, a shot my stash or um, like, something like trying to dupe a palette and those types of things. I know that people think that's interesting to watch, but for me it just it's not as necessary in my, my panning style, I guess. Just trying to get rid of that blue underneath my eyes. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what I can still add to my channel and um, as you guys may know, I definitely do have some other interests <laughs> as well besides just the makeup. I, uh, as you guys know, I knit. I actually work out a fair bit as well. Um, I may have mentioned it on this channel before, but I do aerial, and, which basically means I go up and climb in the silks and do acrobatic stuff in that. I was supposed to go to a trapeze class today and do more acrobatic stuff, but we're in Ireland. It's raining, so that class was cancelled. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really go and film that though I think but just to kind of like let you guys know what my other interests are I read a fair bit if you've seen my like Q&A get ready with me you might know that about me as well um, because I've been getting a little bit more into gaming again I gained a lot when I was a kid I had like my Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance SP and I play Pokemon a lot, uh, but lately I've kind of like discovered the cozy gaming um, community, I guess, on YouTube. Um, I haven't watched like loads of videos yet, but I feel like cozy gaming is definitely my type of gaming. Just like, you know, the, the curled up sitting on the couch type of just playing something nice, like the 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 Harvest Moon type of games. Um, I've got Zelda on the Wii. I started playing Cozy Grove on um, 
on my husband's PC actually, so I don't always have access to the game. Because he is gaming quite a bit, but yeah, that's been pretty fun. Um, just something new. And of course I spend a lot of my time on YouTube in general anyway. And thinking like things that I like to watch on YouTube myself is um, of course like panning content but also I watch a lot of like lifestyle, a little bit of like workout related videos, not really like doing a workout through YouTube because I do a lot of stuff outside of being at home. I prefer to be in the gym or doing a class or go out for a run or those types of things. Um, yeah, so actually I'm forgetting to say what I'm actually doing. I use the Smashbox primer as my under eye primer to make sure that the um, Stay Naked concealer from Urban Decay is not too dry. And because I already did my chin area, I'm done there. So I'm going in with the Nikki Viva Glam lipstick using that as my cream blush. And this lipstick is also in the whole collection project pan and because of that I've been using it a little bit more as a cream brush cream blush recently. Um, I really like watching people's like morning routines and evening routines and like a little bit of the productivity planning like those types of things. You can like cleaning videos but I don't know. I just feel weird trying to do something like that myself for some reason. And I don't clean very much. I'm too lazy. Or like, I prioritize my time differently. I just like do little bits of cleaning at a time. With like a proper clean of the house maybe once a month. As long as it still looks clean from a distance, it's fine. <laughs> so I put on the Fit Me powder on top. And I'm going in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks in So Taupe. I'm using that little kabuki brush for that. I'm using that to contour. So mainly focusing on the outside and then going in a little bit. It's pretty windy outside at the moment, so you might hear the wind slamming against the windows and the doors and stuff moving right now. But yeah, um, going in with the blush from the Money Shop that's also in my whole collection project pan right now. I have to be really careful with this one because it's a darker shade as you can see. And I've realized that I tend to grab a little bit too much quite easily, even if I only do like two taps. My skin is just really light. Um, Nars Albatros highlighter. Which I'm using every single time I do my makeup at the moment. And then I'm going into the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Trio, um, which is also in the whole collection project pan. And what I'm doing is like I'm just going over kind of everything and then I'm using this as my blush topper. I don't think I've ever properly. Well, maybe I have properly shown it, I don't know, but. So that is that all done. And then I'm just using my powder brush to blend things together a little bit, just in case I've been a little bit too heavy handed. But I'm also just like using the viewfinder as my mirror now, as long as it looks okay in there, then I know that when I'm filming the update, it's not gonna look too much, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Next, just trying to think what I'm going to do. Do my inner corner highlight because if I don't do that, like kind of at this point, I sometimes forget about it. But I do always want to do it kind of after I have... Ooh, that looks really bright in the viewfinder. Um, I always want to do it after applying my concealer because I always go into the corner a little bit as well when I apply my concealer. So I use the white from my... And a palette, palette again as well. And then it's time for brows, which I will do off camera because it takes too long 
for you to be just watching me do that for two minutes. And I'm using um, Naked and Buck. So those two. In my brows, I mix those together. So I'll just quickly do that. And I'll be back in a little bit with brows. Okay, and we're back with brows right now. Um, and while I was doing my brows, I was actually thinking I might just link like two of the cozy gaming channels that I started to follow uh, down below because I didn't know this existed before I accidentally ran into it. So it might be something that some of you guys might want to check out as well. Just gonna curl my eyelashes in the meantime. And then we're almost done. Um, next step. I'm back to the Rose Dewy Glow um, face mist from the Body Shop. I was using the uh, Pixie Glow Mist, I think it was called. Not the biggest fan, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I just like the Body Shop better. I'm still really missing the vitamin C one that they had before. But yeah, kind of everything. Okay. Um, trying to think what's next. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm just taking my mirror back again, um, taking one of the lip products in this project. This is the uh, Etude House lip stain. I have no idea what the like real name is of this one because it's Korean, <laughs> and I don't read Korean for some reason. Now I hope. It's a bit much, maybe, isn't it? Uh, okay. Okay, I think it needs a little bit of warming up because too much contrast here. I guess, like this, it kind of works, but even then it's leaning a little bit Barbie on me. Clearly, I haven't worn that one a whole lot yet. I know it's a lip stain, so I could blot it off a little bit as well, possibly, but it's gonna try and see what happens if I put the MAC Lip Gelee on top of it. Hoping that will tone it down a little bit. At least like warm it up a little bit. Uh, what do you guys think? I think it just is a little bit more cool tone than I'm used to, but I don't think it looks bad per se. It's just I need to get used to what I look like right now for some reason. Okay. Mascara, of course. I'm using the Clinique High, you know, this is a Lash Power Mascara. I used to be using the High Impact one and then I purchased the wrong uh, packaging when I was in the airport a long time ago, but I buy them in three packs, so yeah. I'm just holding this up a little bit more because otherwise I'm going the wrong place. Okay, and that is the mascara done, which means that I have my look done and I'm ready to start filming. I'll probably take my hair down actually. Let's see if that still looks somewhat presentable. I've been walking in the rain earlier today, so let's see. I guess it kind of works, although you can definitely see that I had a ponytail in. So let's see. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys like watching this and just like listen to me ramble a little bit. Do let me know though what you guys like seeing on YouTube, even if it is not within like the panning realm of things, because I'm just kind of trying to figure out what new things I can do. Because especially now that the premiere 65 Days of Eyeshadows is done, I have some free space in my schedule for filming again and trying to figure out what I want to do with that. But yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye!